Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the full header using two half headers. In the previous videos, we have seen how to construct half header, how to construct full header. Okay, uh, we have started from the truth table and then came up and then we have designed the logic circuit. Now, in most of the cases, there is a possibility of designing full header using two half headers. Okay. And before going to the implementation, we already know the basic difference between the full header and half header. So half header used to add two bits. Full header used to add three bits. Okay. Now using this half header which is used to two bits of information addition that can be used to implement two uh, half headers can be used to implement one full header okay so the construction will be like half header with two inputs like a b the output is sum and carry out we are taking one more half header the input of the output of sum from the first half header stays is input for the second half header it gives you the overall sum and another input which is the input for the full header cn that is the input for the half header here. The output of this carry 2 and this carry 1, these two will be connected to OR gate and gives you the total carry out. Okay, so this entire Thing will be in the full header circuit okay this is the way of designing this is the way of designing full header using two half headers so that's why in fact two half headers means in fact we need two half headers along with one or gate two half headers along with one or gate so we need two half headers with one or gate to design a full header okay so the circuit will be the logic circuit is so what is the construction of half header the logic circuit of full header we know so one xor gate and one and gate one XR gate one and gate the inputs are A and here it is B same inputs we have to apply here also as per the half header circuit this is internal signal S1 and this is internal signal C1 this is first half header and the second half header is like this So another input from C in for this half header. This is S2 and here also we have AND gate output C2. We have S1 here and here we have input C in. Okay. So the output of this one is directly the original sum of the full header which is See here, what is S1? I will write the expressions one by one. And C2. And this is C1. And this is C2. These two are R together. And output is carry out. This is the one of header. C1. 
see what I am doing is I am just elaborating the previous circuit. This is half header 1. This is half header 2. Okay. This is OR gate. Okay. So what I said, we need one, uh, two half headers and one OR gate to implement the overall full header. Now what is the expression for S1? So okay, I will write expressions individually to get the final expression. So expressions S1. S1 is equal to AXRB. S1 is nothing but AXRB. And what is S2? S2 is S1 XR. Another input is CN. CN. So what is sum now? Therefore, sum is equal to S2. S2, nothing but S1 XR. CN. What is S1? AXRB. So it is. A X R B X R C N. If you see the full header sum expression, you can find both are same. Okay, this is the expression for sum of full header. For full header sum. Okay, this is okay. Now coming to the carry. Okay, sum is easy. We have directly got sum with two XR gates because XR operation just three input XR gate is there in the full header basic expression. Here we have just divided that into, into two XR gates, two two input XR gates. But AND gate is quite different. Okay. So this is for sum and for carry C1 is equal to what is C1? C1 is the AND gate AB. And what is C2? C2 is the AND operation between S1 and C. S1, C. What is S1? A, X, R, B into C. C, C, N. A, X, R, B into C, N. This is C2. And what is the output? Overall output C out. C out is equal to C2 plus C1. Therefore, carry out is equal to C1 plus C2. That is equal to AB plus AXRB into CN. Okay. Now we have a doubt whether this carry is equal to the carry what is the what is there in the original full adder. Okay. Both are same. If you elaborate this AB plus A bar B plus A B bar into C in that is equal to A B plus A bar B C in plus A B bar C in. Okay, this is the carry out. What is the original carry out expression in the full adder? From full adder, from full adder, the expression for the expression for carry is C out is equal to a B plus A C plus A C N plus B C N. This expression and this expression both are same. Both are same. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can just simply take B common here. Then it is A plus A bar C N. And it is A B bar C N. Okay, it will give you B into A plus A plus C N. Okay, this is the simplification of the Boolean expressions.
plus a b bar c n. Again, if you simplify this, you will get a b plus b c n will come here. a b plus b c n plus a b bar c n. Again, if you take uh, c n common, then the uh, it is a b plus a b bar. Then again, a c n will come. A B plus B C in plus A C in will come. Okay. If you want, if you have any doubt, take this expression. Take this expression. Okay. Right here. We got C out is equal to A B plus A bar B C in plus a b bar c n okay that is equal to a plus a bar c n if you take b common from the first two plus a b bar c n okay the simplification for this one is a plus c n into b plus a b bar c n so it is a b plus b c n plus a b bar c n again if you take a common b plus b bar c n plus b c n from the first and last then it is a into b plus c n b c n ok that is equal to a b plus a c n plus b c n this is what we have got the original carrying the ladder still if you don't have the uh, if you have still if you have any confusion then take this expression and this expression and draw the truth tables of these two then you will get the finally finally same expression okay so full adder can be implemented using two half adders followed by one or get okay